Tests for a new version of the T-14 tank are almost done. These tests are happening at the 38th Research Institute of the Ministry of Defense of Russia. In December 2023, we learned that the Rostec Corporation is making progress on this powerful T-14 Armada tank. Sergei Chemizov, the head of Rostec, shared this in an interview with RIA Novosti, highlighting the tank's great potential. Chemizov highlighted that the new T-14 tank will soon be more challenging for enemies, as final adjustments are being made during tests. We finished it some time ago, so we will soon see the results, Chemizov said last December. He added that the latest T-14 tank, built on the Armada platform, now has advanced electronic systems made in Russia. This upgrade also includes a new fire control system. However, he did not provide more details about this enhanced T-14 version and its increased firepower. Later, details came out from a source in the defense industry. They revealed that this new T-14 model replaces the 125mm 2A82 1M gun, which is 56 calibers long, with a much improved 152mm smoothbore 2A83 1A gun that has a chrome barrel and is 48 calibers long. It's interesting to know that the 2A83 gun series was first developed in the 90s for Russia's next-gen tank, known as the T-95 or Object 195 inches in project documents. This barrel is based on the 2A65 artillery gun used in the 2S19M STAS self-propelled artillery system. However, in 2009, the experimental project Object 195 inches was stopped. The Ministry of Defense said it was outdated and not worth upgrading because it had too many old Soviet-era technologies, was too heavy, and had more firepower than needed for a main battle tank. After this, the Ural Design Bureau for Transport Machine Building, UKBTM, part of Nizhny Tagil JSC NPO Yurovanzavod, started a new project called Combat System of the Future Armada. This led to the creation of a new light tank, Product 148, later known as the T-14. During this project, engineers from Nizhny Tagil designed several versions of the tank featuring an uninhabited combat module and a single isolated armored crew capsule. The T-14 main battle tank was fitted with a cutting-edge 125mm gun called the 2A82 1M. They also made an export version and one with a stronger 152mm gun called the 2A83. In 2015, the designers from Nizhny Tagil began developing a robotic version of the T-14 tank, which also features a 125mm main gun. Rostec announced the start of prototype tests for this unmanned T-14 in April 2020. Right now, official updates on the unmanned T-14 are hard to come by. Since 2022, all information about vehicles on the Armada platform, including their deployment, has been kept secret. So, we shouldn't expect more details soon. The robotic T-14 project was put on hold due to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and increased production of T-90M main battle tanks. Even so, neither the manufacturer nor the Ministry of Defense has given any official updates about the vehicle. Officials from the state corporation have remained notably silent on this matter. Regarding the experimental T-14 with a 152mm gun, the Russian Ministry of Defense began testing its effectiveness in February 2016. This version was known as a Combat Artillery Vehicle CAV, based on the Armada platform, designed for specialized combat missions alongside main battle tanks. Experts expected these vehicles to be delivered for testing a few years ago. But even after more than eight years, they are not yet in use. Plus, there's little information about any work being done on them. Some believed the project was paused to focus on another version with a 125mm barrel. Others thought the project might have been permanently stopped. However, no official statements were made about this vehicle until December 2023. Recently, a well-known Russian military expert shared online that work on this project is still ongoing. An informed source has been emphasizing this since last year. In modern military operations, experts say the Russian army's need for such vehicles is clear. They state that an experimental tank based on the Armada, with better firepower, is showing unique and versatile capabilities during tests. This tank can perform various enemy striking tasks, unmatched by any other tank globally. Experts point out that this experimental tank has a hull nearly identical to the basic T-14 Armada tank, armed with a 152mm gun. 
While the combat module remains mostly unchanged, some updates and unique features have been added. These changes align with the tank's key design ideas, they say. Details about the hull and combat module modifications are not shared, but insiders say the new T-14 version has more power a 152mm barrel and a redesigned, stealthier turret. This welded turret with multi-layer armor includes tools and sensors, giving it a sleeker, more protected shape. It's worth noting that the arrangement of equipment in the combat module, such as video cameras, radar panels, ultraviolet direction finders, CAS elements, and electronic warfare systems, might differ. However, this hasn't been officially confirmed yet, until the vehicle is officially shown, it's too early to go into these details. What we do know is that the new ammunition and larger caliber projectiles have led to changes in the automatic loading system and the placement of the ammunition rack. This change, although significant, was somewhat expected. For context, the transportable ammunition for a 152mm version of the Armada tank is set for 40 shells, with 24 stored in the automatic loader. Comparatively, the standard T-14 version, which has a 125mm gun, carries 45 shells, 32 of which are in the autoloader. The new version of the T-14 tank packs more firepower with a 152mm caliber artillery shell. Additionally, it can fire modern ammunition over a meter long. This includes advanced high-explosive and thermobaric projectiles with remote detonation, and powerful armor-piercing finned projectiles with a core length of 1,024mm, made by Rosatom. The new 152mm caliber BOPS is made from very strong and heavy materials, possibly including depleted uranium. Its effective range is around 5 kilometers. This vehicle will also use the latest Krasnopol family artillery projectile, which has a bottom gas generator and satellite navigation. This high-precision projectile was developed for the Russian Koalitsiya SV self-propelled gun and is also compatible with the new Malva wheeled self-propelled gun. The reported range for hitting a tank target with this ammunition is 70 to 80 kilometers, setting a new record for mass-produced projectiles in its class. Additionally, the 2A83 1A barrel can fire an anti-tank guided missile from the 9M133FM family, designed for the Cornet ATGM. This missile has a caliber of 152mm and can penetrate up to 1,400mm of armor and 1,200mm of armor behind dynamic protection, effective from 150m to 10km. The Cornet ATGM series, designed for contact and non-contact detonation, has different types of warheads, high explosive, tandem cumulative, and thermobaric. One impressive variant, the 9M133FM3, can target low-flying, subsonic air threats traveling up to 900 km per hour at altitudes up to 9 km. Essentially, it turns the T-14 with this missile into a versatile short-range air defense system. Moreover, the 2A83 1A's 152mm barrel lasts about 280 rounds compared to the T-14 base 125mm barrel, which can last at least 900 rounds. The upgraded tank's artillery version can fire 10 rounds per minute, compared to 12 to 15 rounds per minute for the standard 125mm version. However, the 2A83 1A barrel is almost twice as heavy, at 5 tons, with the 2A82 weighing 2.7 tons. Initially, the design ensured that switching from a 125mm gun to a larger one wouldn't require changing the turret ring system. However, this change can increase the vehicle's weight, which might affect its mobility. The T-14 MBT, with its original 125mm gun, was reported to weigh 55 tons. However, recent information suggests that designers managed to reduce the T-14 weight during optimization. It's unclear how long this process took. Additionally, there's exciting news, this new Armada-based vehicle will come with an onboard reconnaissance drone. This drone will help scout and target with high precision over long distances. Specific details about the drone, including its features and range, are yet to be shared. The modern 152mm version of the T-14 tank can fire long-range guided missiles from the Krasnopol family. These missiles use a laser for final stage guidance, making them highly accurate. Experts have noted that, unlike the standard T-14, this experimental version has an improved guidance system and a new digital fire control system, ensuring precise artillery strikes. This upgrade was confirmed by the head of Rostec.
When talking about the T-14 variant with the 125mm smoothbore gun, it's important to know that it is now in service. Some reports say it hasn't been deployed yet, but it was actually commissioned in 2022 and is regularly delivered to the military. This information was also highlighted by Sergei Chemizov, head of Rostec. Interestingly, the exact number of tanks delivered from the Armada platform is not disclosed because of the program's special status. About the T-14 tank state trials and expected service entry by the end of the year, it's important to note that these refer to the updated T-14 version, which includes extensive combat experience. This change happened around the same time as the release of the T-14 variant. Military expert Viktor Murakovsky, editor-in-chief of Arsenal of the Fatherland magazine, said the updates mostly involve changes to the tank's electronic systems, based on information from his defense industry sources. Sanctions from countries unfriendly to Russia have likely played a big role in this decision. Russia is now focusing more on making important systems and parts locally, based on their recent combat experience. Previously, there were reports that troops received simpler versions of the T-14 tanks with fewer features. However, specific details about the full capability of the serial T-14 are not shared for security reasons. Moreover, to enable the mass production of combat vehicles on the Armada platform, a new assembly shop has been built and is now running at Yerevanzavod in Nizhny Tagil. Production of the T-14 tank has now moved to UVZ's main tank assembly workshop number 130. This is the same place where the T-90M tanks were made before. According to a press release by Rostec, new advanced machinery and equipment have been set up for this new production line, as announced by the head of the workshop. A source from UVZ's tank assembly workshop number 130 shared some interesting insights. He said that the T-90M tanks being made now are very different from the older versions. While he couldn't share specific details, he did say that the new T-90M models have seen major upgrades using the latest technology. In an interview with RIA Novosti, Viktor Murakovsky shared some updates. He said that mass production of a new T-14 tank will start this year. There is also progress on developing the new T-15 infantry fighting vehicle and the T-16 armored repair vehicle.